hi 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 friends how are you today welcome to joy fido international my name is joy fido and i have really really interesting messages for you today welcome on board uh, the reason i decided to come sit with you today to talk about what's going on um a lot has been going on in my personal life <clears throat> and I'll say in life generally but as usual I like to share whatever's going on with my audience with people listening to me with people ready to hear the way I see things now recently something really drastic happened to my family in Nigeria and as someone who has a voice I just feel the onus is on me to bring the message out because the message is not just about me and my family it's about what is going on with our society now the title of what I'm talking about today is called cultism cultism the shame of Nigerian politicians cultism the shame of Nigerian politicians um, I decided to just check on Google and look at the meaning of cultism. And the first thing that popped up is cultism in Nigeria. Is that not shocking? Cultism in Nigeria. And then of course there are lots of videos about it which I have not had time to look at. But why, why Nigeria? Is Nigeria the only place that can practice cultism? Okay, let's 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 see what the definition is because I had to search for the definition of cultism. And it says it's a social group defined by religious, spiritual, or philosophical beliefs for common interest. So if you know you're coming together, I mean they go into history on how it started in universities. If you know you're coming together to, to set up a group, which I can imagine is a group for any reason. I mean, we have social groups where people have similar interests. I did, I was once a member of a group of Nigerian women who all we did was we, we came together and when each person has a child, we will dress up, we'll go and have a party, you know, you know, naming ceremony for the child or, or it's somebody's birthday, we come together and we celebrate birthdays. So that is what a social group is. So if you decide you want to come together as a group for whatever reason, that should be your prerogative. But you know, what's happened is in Nigeria, politicians, that's why I say it's the shame of politicians. Politicians in Nigeria have turned Cultism to become a pain. Cultism is now a fetish thing. Cultism is satanic, is devilish. They are there to instill fear. They are terrorizing people. On the 24th of November in my village, a close family of mine was murdered by a group of youths calling themselves cults or cultism or whatever they want to call themselves. This is a tiny little village of not up to 5,000 people. Where? In Bori, River State, Nigeria. And the next thing we were seeing in the newspaper was their claiming that this is um, a clash of cults. No, what they actually claimed was um, youths attacked the mobile police that came to the village. Absolute lies. Now, this person that they, they invaded his house and attacked him was a, 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 a credible member of society, owned his own business, was helping the community in every way. And these youths came and shot him 46 times who does that in this present age he has not hurt you he has not done anything to you 
all he was asking for was for peace in the community. He believed there should be peace in the community. So these youths have turned around claiming that they are cult members, terrorizing the community. And then he stood and said, no, there should be peace in this community. Of course, with so many other ridiculous reasons that I was hearing, which I am not in the village right now, I don't know all the details, but I know that this person did not hurt anybody. And these boys, for reasons best known to whoever is funding them, decided to go and take on the act. And this is what Nigeria has turned into. They use these boys who are jobless, completely jobless. And why are they jobless? This is where I'm calling them shame of Nigerian politicians. Why are these boys jobless? This is where I have a voice and I'm going to use my voice. Because the reason these things are existing in Nigeria is these boys are ignorant. They have no knowledge of who they are. They have no idea that they are being used by these politicians for their own greedy and selfish interest. Because they want to sit on some power and siphon the community money, money that belongs to the country, money that belongs to states. The government takes it all and keep it to themselves and to their family sending their children all over the world and then these ignorant boys who are unemployed become their, stu their stooges. It is a shame. It is a shame on a country like Nigeria and it is a shame on the continent of Africa. And I tell you why I know it's a shame. Because right now, for some reason best known to God on my part, I had to go back to school to study again. And what am I studying? Tourism. The amount of information I have acquired from this course. Now, look at a country like Qatar, as small as Qatar. Qatar has only about 300,000 people that make up that country. But now in Qatar, they have 2.6 million people in that country. Most of them are expatriates recruited into the country to help make things work in that country. They recruited them for their expertise. And how come Qatar could afford to recruit these people? The money from oil, the money from mining their natural resources. Nigeria has so much resources, billions of it. It was still reading on this course, I found out that in Nigeria, Nigeria is the only country where individuals own oil blocks. Have you heard such a thing? Individual, an individual own oil block. Oil block that belongs to the country has been given to one person to claim that it is her right. And in a community like mine, Pea, where there's another oil field, it belongs to the community, but Pea does not see anything out of this money. And when they do pass on whatever, it is stipends they give to the community. And when they give these stipends to these community members, they go and kill themselves over it. Because even the little stipends are sent to the village, they are not even passing on the, I hear they have things, a scholarship that they're supposed to be um, funding these youths to go to school. They don't even give it to them. They sell the scholarship to other communities. And then they now pay them 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira, and then they arm them with guns to go and kill innocent people because in their head they think they've got money. Obviously, they are unemployed, so whatever you give them will be okay. Not knowing that it is your rights that you've sold off, your birthright. You're meant to be in school gaining knowledge. A country like Qatar is looking for people with expertise to use in, in building their country. Nigeria deserves to have people like you, these youths, to 
Look at how you can grow that country. And you know, in the process of reading, I'm coming across so much information. A country is not considered rich if the people in that country are not informed, are not educated, do not have knowledge and skills. Skills in science, skills in biology, things that you can use in turning your natural resources to more sustainable goods for your country. Nigeria doesn't have that. And that's why you see innocent people getting on the sea, struggling, looking for ways to get out of the country. And then those of us who are here, who even want to go back home, we are not thinking of it because how do you go to a place where no one wants to know about your, your, your knowledge? And so this works amazingly well for these empty head politicians who clearly have no knowledge. They sit in their house of uh, rap and house of sin or whatever they call these houses and they never discuss anything. I watch some of these programs, they do not discuss anything. They just sit down there and they sleep and then they earn ridiculous salaries and they have fleets of cars and drivers. And then you start killing innocent people? Who gives you that right? Who makes you think that it is your right to have another innocent soul that God created to be killed because you want to sit on a throne stealing money? Money that does not belong to you. Money you did not work for. But let me, let me just give you a really good news that you probably never wanted to hear or you probably don't know when you die when you die wherever you are that is busy i mean these young innocent boys when you die you're not going with pain how is that for someone who thinks he's so powerful how is that for people who live on this earth have no knowledge of how they were created have no idea where their life is going think they have power with some little amount of money in their bank account and then you authorize people to be killed did you did you create that person do you even know how come you are still here on this earth because the funny thing is these same boys that you are arming today might just turn around on you why because you've ended up messing around with their understanding of life they have no knowledge of what life is and that's why they are listening to you. And that's why you think you are such a big king, kingpin. Sitting and they are giving, giving gun ammunition to young, young kids. To go and be killing innocent people. And terrorizing a village. Who gives you such rights? Because I, I, have, I have so much... I, I have so much I want to tell you politicians in Nigeria. You have not even started. You haven't started. I mean, it is so sad that we are in a time when technology is what the world is looking at right now. We sit in countries and countries like Russia are sitting there and poking their nose into the, 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 the politics going on in another country getting involved but you you in nigeria claiming that you want to rule people you don't even know what the world is saying why don't you just tell the country that you just want to take their money and maybe you sit on the corner and take the money and let people who know what ruling means rule the country that would be a good place to start Technology is moving on. Nigeria, you don't even have an airport. Nigeria does not have an international airport that the country can be proud of and say, look at my airport. 200 million people in a country being led by blind people. And you call yourself politicians. 200 million people. You don't have an airport. No infrastructure, unemployment up to their eyeballs, 
Children going to school and coming back with nothing to show for it. And then your solution is to arm them and tell them they are cult members. That's a shame on you. Because you need to wake up. You need to wake up. And realize that for you to grow that country, for that country to grow, it is these youths that you need to inform. It is these youths that you need to educate. It is these youths that you need to send to school. It is these youths that need to know about science and technology and biology and information. Whatever is happening in the world, these youths are the people that need to have all of that so that you can employ them to do positive things in the country. These youths need to be sent abroad in different parts of the world to go and learn what other parts of the world are talking about. It is not for you to sabotage. Because that's what you're doing. You're sabotaging the future of Nigeria for your selfish interest. Which unfortunately for you, you're not going to live long enough to enjoy. This so-called wealth that you think you have amassed will not go anywhere with you. We had this scenario where Ken Sarawa fought for the Ogoni people as well. And what happened there? Abacha thought he had all the power under the sun. What did he do? That the people should be killed. He hung them for no reason. There was no reason to do that. The world cried, everyone cried. Abacha thought he knew it all. It was it up to a year after Kensaro was killed that Abacha died? With all the billions that Abacha stole, is it not only recently that Nigeria is having access to that money? Which, again, stupidity, they're using it and claiming that they're giving it to individuals. Can that country think for a change? Can you think? You know, I, I know what's been going on, but somehow, somewhere, in as much as I can't, I have a voice and I will speak. I have not made it my business to, to talk. But you know what? I am going to start talking now about Nigeria. The world needs to know what's going on in that country. Because for you to pick on innocent citizens, for you to pick on an innocent person who was minding his business and get some empty-headed kids to come and shoot him down for the sixth time for no reason. I am going to use my voice and speak for these poor people, people who are helpless, have no knowledge of what the world is talking about, and people like you who think you know it all. We're going to take this on. Okay, so like I said, um, Cultism in Nigeria, it's a shame. It's a shame on the politicians, people who lie to themselves that they are ruling that country. You are not ruling that country. What you're doing, you're ruining. You're not ruling, you're ruining. You're destroying Nigeria. And you know what hurts so much? Nigeria is made up of intellectuals. I mean, anywhere in the world, Say you're Nigerian and you see people who are sitting at amazing offices and doing great things. But you, you sat down there calling yourself politicians and turning the country to shame. That's what you have done. Calling yourself politicians, you're turning the country to shame. I am sitting here in a foreign land and all I could see on the news are negative news about Nigeria. And the same thing on the internet. I mean, I actually went and searched out, let me find out some information about Nigeria. And I, my son was doing, uh, um, we're doing a play and I wanted him to recite some things about Nigeria. There was nothing. And you call yourself a country? Shame on you politicians. Because what you've done, instead of using your children to create great things for this country, you're using them to cause pain. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.